Well, uh, low-cost carriers were considered to be um, a challenge that we, we had to take up. Um, most of the world was going towards this type of business and um, I'm very happy to say that we now have a number of low-cost carriers operating to, to, to and from Malta and um, the, the effect of these carriers has really been felt since their, their operation. But yes, we have significantly added uh, the number of seats and I, I believe it is in the region of 24 or 30 percent. How many months has this been since, uh, since they've been uh, servicing Malta? Well, since last uh, May, uh, basically. Um, but we've had uh, low-cost airlines coming in from different uh, countries, so Click Air from Spain and the German wings, and they've started in, in on different dates of, of operation. Uh, I would like to add that uh, the scheduled air, we've been careful that the scheduled airlines do maintain their operations to, to Malta, um, and that the the low-cost airlines will not adversely affect the, the scheduled airline flights so as not to reduce the capacity. And I presume uh, Ryanair and EasyJet are in the, uh, from well, the United Kingdom are in that Ryanair, mix? Ryanair is operating, um, EasyJet not yet. Um, there were some, some negotiations but uh, not, not, not reached any uh, conclusions yet. Mm, but right. They seem to be very happy and we are very happy with, uh, with the, the load factor that they're getting. Um, we'll see how it goes on as, the, as, as it progresses. But so far, um, the flights seem to be full. <laughs> At the end of the day, many of them give away seats for one penny, yeah. one pence. Um, so the beneficiary is really the consumer, the consumer and, and you, the, the travel providers on the ground. Yeah. Um, that is, that and the is, community, of course. That is, of course, part of the attraction of, of, of the low-cost airline itself. Mm -hmm. So um, they, they, they do it just as they do it with all the other destinations to Malta, yes. Well, the strategy is to, to grow um, in, a, in, a contained, in a contained and manageable, sustainable manner, um, mostly due to, to the size of the island, which is uh, very small. Um, so we, we would like to see more growth during the <coughs> the shoulder months and the winter months where we do have spare capacity and accommodation um, even through conferences and uh, mice well it's we are affected like the rest of the world is affected so we are we are concerned about it um, we are part of the European Union we form part of the European Union and uh, we are bound to follow the directives to, to, to limit to limit uh, emissions and uh, we do our best to, to do our bit to, to help control and, and um, combat <coughs> this, uh, this phenomenon that is uh, certainly worrying not only to the tourism industry but to the, to the world in general. I think, I think there, are, there are quite a few cruise liners that are stopping off uh, there. Cruise liner business is um, thought, uh, expected to increase during the next year by 10, 10, or, 10 or 15 percent over this year. So. The cruise liner business is really, really booming.